Hey everybody, Kim with Storytime Soap Shop. Today, we're going to be making the coffee soap for a customer order. We're going to be using the coffee butter that I made a few videos ago. So, if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link in the description, but we made our own coffee butter. And we're going to be incorporating that at about 5 or 6% um, in this soap loaf. It's a loaf of soap. Why does that sound funny? Anyway, let's go make some coffee soap. Okay, we're going to start with our room temperature oils and lye water. Set that aside. Get our stick blender in here. And give this a quick whiz. Alright, in this picture I have some titanium dioxide dissolved in some water. Pour this some off in there. This will be for the top. Now I'm pouring that off before I add my fragrance oil because I know that this fragrance oil will discolor. And I'm just gonna stir this in real quick with my spatula, kind of slightly on camera. Uh, because titanium dioxide does accelerate, I will stick blend this um, here in a minute. And into the remaining batter I am going to add some mocha brown mica from nurture soap uh, with some of the oils from the batter pour that in there give that a quick stick blend Alright, and now I have my own blend of fragrance oils, so I'm going to pour that in there. And I'm just going to blend that in by hand. Now I know that this is going to discolor um, because of some of the fragrance oils that I have in there. but I'm not sure about acceleration and I want a little bit of time to work with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in real well by hand. Scrape my sides down. Now, what I'm going to do is pour a little bit back in the pitcher that had our fragrance oils in it. take the white get that ready now if you remember from our video on making our coffee oil um, I reserved some of the coffee grounds so in this bottom I'm going to take a couple of teaspoons of the coffee grounds Put that in there. I'm also going to take, grab a clean spoon, and just put a little bit of black pearl in there because I want this layer to be just a little bit darker. Stick blend up my white, and I want to be quick about this because it does cause acceleration. Scrape down my sides. And then I want to take and quickly stick blend this up. Alright. Set this aside. 
side. Now we'll grab our five pound mold from Nurture. And we'll pour in our first layer, which has some of those coffee grounds in it. And we are going to continue to just hand stir our other batter while this one, I want this to set up a little bit. I do want some division between my layers. So the one I'm really worried about is the one with the titanium dioxide because like I said, that does tend to accelerate or thicken your batter slightly. What I'm doing is using my spatula to help break surface tension, or to help keep from breaking surface tension. Because I'm not really looking for a drop swirl here. scrape out my bucket because I'm not looking to make a design like this on top. All I'm doing now is checking, first of all, the uh, how thick my white batter is. Okay, it's still good. It's still nice and runny. I'm going to give this a spritz with alcohol. And one of the reasons I'm doing that, now you'll see a lot of melt and pour people do that to keep the layers, uh, make the layers stick together and to pop bubbles. But why I'm doing it is because the alcohol will evaporate really fast, taking the temperature of the batter down and giving me, it, it, it just, it, I'm stuttering, it helps it um, set up just a little bit. Because again, I'm looking for division of layers. So once again, using a spatula to help Keep it nice and separate. I don't really mind if this gets into the layer below it too much because it, when you have a latte, your foam will mix in with your coffee. But I just didn't really want that defined drop swirl. A little bit of back and forth or up and down kind of wavy look is fine.
now I took a little bit of light oil and some more of the mocha brown mica. I'm just mixing that together. Drizzle some of this on top. Then we will take a skewer and make a nice design on the top of the soap. And that's all there is to it. We will spritz this with 91% rubbing alcohol. And be back tomorrow to cut the soap. We are back the next day to give our coffee soap a cut. And the soap didn't quite set for 24 hours, so it's still a little soft. You need to be careful with it, but there we go. We got just a little bit darker soap on the bottom with our nice kind of white froth at the top and the coffee in the center. And it smells so good. This will continue to darken as it cures. Uh, the coffee will kind of bleed a little bit into the soap, even though it was, um, you know, steeped in with oils for a while. It will just bleed a little bit into the soap, darken up that bottom layer a little bit, and then some of the fragrance oils that we used um, do tend to darken, so this will also get darker over time and look more like coffee. So. That's all there is for this one today. If you like our video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.